Hi, this is Peter Buswell for DrVoip.com with another Shortel tech tip. This one deals with uh, creating Shortel audio files, particularly useful for creating automated attendant greetings and when working with the Shortel Enterprise Contact Center. Look at three different strategies for creating these audio files. The three basic uh, best practice strategies are to record by phone, to record using the voicemail, or to use your personal call manager to export a WAV file. So when we record by phone, I'll show you how to set the preferences of the shortware director to enable that function. I'll also show you how to record by voicemail. To do this, we'll go into the shortware director, we'll enable the allow prompt recording using your telephone, we'll set a password, um, the third option is to record using the shortware call manager. Um, this is probably the best way to do this because you can export this to a WAV file, name it something useful, so that when you import it into either the IVR folder of the Enterprise Contact Center or the prompt folder uh, that feeds your automated attendant uh, in the IPDX, it will at least have a useful name. So let's take a look at how to do each one of these through the shortware director. Okay, strategy number one, bring up the uh, administrative interface shortware director. In the first place you're going to want to go is to preferences. In preferences you can actually put a telephone number here. And this number can be an internal extension or it can be a completely external number anywhere in the public service telephone network. So you go ahead and put what number should be called to make recordings when, for example, you need automated attendant. You press the record button. So Generally, you'll uh, create an automated attendant, you'll create a script. This is here to help the person make the recording. But you'll hit this record button. At the time you hit that record button, your preferred telephone that you filled in this box will in fact ring, and then you will find yourself in the mode of making a recording. Uh, the recording will then be saved in the appropriate Shortel IPDX prompt folder and uh, click on the save button, that recording is completed. The second strategy is to check this box here, allow prompt using the telephone. So in this situation, what we're going to do is call into the voicemail system, enter extension 852, Hopefully, so we want to change it to extension 852 and put in the password. And you get the uh, you get the idea. This is um, an easy way to quickly change automated attendant greetings from outside the company. Um, you want to check this box, and you want to put a password here. Recommend that you don't uh, keep this checked, um, and that you most certainly change the password. You don't want people calling in and changing your automated attendant greeting. Okay, our third strategy is actually a uh, best practice strategy for creating auto attendant greetings for either the ECC or for the PBX. Uh, you're basically just going to use your call manager. You're going to go to the voicemail tab. You're going to create a new message. Uh, you're going to send the message to yourself. In this case, uh, I am Clint Eastwood. And uh, you probably want to name this something useful.
and then we can go ahead and make our recording. If we click here, uh, our phone will ring, and we can now make our recording. Thank you for calling Dr. Voice. As you know your party's extension, you can dial it at any time during this message. Or press star to use our spell by name directory. So at that point, we've um, saved our recording. And we're going to go ahead and send it. Now, of course, I sent this message to myself, so it should uh, just pop in here. And as you can see, it's got a subject that uh, we used on Alice reading. So the next step is to right-click on this puppy and say, export to WAV file. And uh, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and put that on my Shortel server. Uh, is this guy right here. And you want to put it in the Shoreline data folder into the prompt folder. That's where Shortel st stores its prompt. And you'll notice immediately the advantages that you can get um, a file name that, that's meaningful. Uh, as you can see, whenever you make a recording in the Shortel uh, using the record function through the automated attendant with either of the two strategies I previously demonstrated, you're going to get a file name that looks very unfriendly. It's not really useful. But here we've got a file that's going to be in the correct format and saved such that, okay, now that we have our file labeled, stored away in the appropriate location in the Shortel shortwave data, shortline data, prompt folder, we go to our automated attendant and create it. And uh, we hit the import button. data um, folder and there's our usefully labeled on hours reading and we can go ahead and import that message. Again, I point out that at least we've got uh, a file name here that's meaningful to beat some of these uh, strange uh, file names that uh, will result from using either of the two previous strategies. That wraps it up for uh, uh, audio creation recommendations. We've looked at uh, three strategies. We've uh, reviewed how to set the preferences in the shortwave director to record to your phone. Uh, I showed you how to enable the allow prompt recording using your telephone. So this is basically when you log into the voicemail system and log into the automated attendant menu of your choice to make your recording. And lastly, we took a look at Shortware call manager um, to create a message and then export it as a WAV file and uh, import it into the auto attendant. You can also import it into the IBR folder on your enterprise contact center. So this has been another Dr. Voigt tech tip. Please visit us at drvoigt.com and check out our blog, blog.drvoigt.com. Thank you.